How you doing? It's Carl again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to tie the, uh, call it the Jiggy Fly. Uh, it's invented to uh, get down really fast, really quick. Uh, I'm using a tungsten cone head on a number two uh, Sotwall rated Eagle Claw hook. You got some uh, white, red, and yellow uh, bucktail, some uh, flash on there, and uh, red thread, 210 denier. Uh, I use this for uh, stripers and hybrids on Tennessee tailwaters. Uh, check it out. Put your hook on, put your tungsten on, and uh, <clears throat> I will put me a, a thread bump on the front here mm, quarter inch somewhere in there and uh, check your tungsten and see if it's gonna fit on there snug if it doesn't decide another layer of thread over there it's about perfect we'll whip finish this off no I'm not done it's usually what the last thing you do to apply. Uh, put a little head cement on there. Just a little bit. Make sure you uh, get it snugged up there. Make sure it's on there pretty much straight. Take you some uh, 025 or 030 uh, lead wire. Make you a measurement about two and a half inches uh, try to do any more than that it's going to get kind of unruly on you so fly won't simply just won't look good so I'm going to put that on notice I'm holding it down with my, my left hand that way it won't spin on the shaft uh, I want to remember that might save you a little time then I just squeeze it all into the cone there so, what you're looking at here is the weight, and I tie this very sparsely because I want to try to get this fly down as quick as I can because I'm dealing with a tail race. So now I'll put my red thread back on, put about a, a quarter inch worth of thread on the hook shaft going towards the tail. And, uh, now catch your uh, lead. Hold the lead on. Now you want to cover this lead up, okay? Uh, because you know, since we're tying this so sparsely, uh, you know that lead will show through. So this it just simply looks better. You cover all of this lead up. Now where you're going to build this head on the front, you don't have to worry about that. It's the tail end what we're worried about. Very sparsely get you some uh, white bucktail. You want to be able to almost count the number of threads. Shake it out. We'll get all the small ones out of there. Like so. About twice the length of the shaft. Now you notice I use a uh, short shank hook. I'm trying to keep this fly down to about three inches just like I do my other striper flies is that's predominantly the size of the bait fish now you can fish them bigger but you'll get less strikes so now I'm going to fold this back work it, hold that down this thread And I'm gonna cut, cut that off. A couple loose ones here to cut off. Lock that in pretty good. <clears throat> now I'm gonna flip this fly, rotate it. You don't have a rotary vise, not a big deal. Just simply pull it out of the vise, turn it. That's no big deal at all.
Now I'm gonna tie my uh, red bucktail in. Again, being sparse. And the reason why we're being sparse is because we're trying to fight water resistance. And we don't want any water resistance at all. See there's not just not that much there. I go almost as long as the white bucktail. I'm gonna go loose wrap, loose wrap, gather it up, tight wrap, tight wrap, tight wrap. Now I'm gonna uh, watch that point. I'm gonna lock this down. Now that I've locked that down, I can cut that close. Then now I've got that locked in. Now time for some uh, flash. Get you uh, about three strands of uh, silver tinsel. Try to put this on side by side. That's how I put that in a V. I want this running side by side out to the front. Now I'm going to check my links on the back here. Try not to make them all the same. A little longer there. Get a little off there. Now time for the yellow. Some people use chartreuse. So that's perfectly fine. You can use chartreuse. You can, you can mix these colors up any way you want. I would try to keep the red in there. That's mimicking the gills. Don't change the thread. Don't change the gills. That's my recommendation. But of course, it's your fly. You can do whatever you want. So I'm going to size that up right there. I'm going to split this hook point. I'll tie this in. Looks like I got lucky enough. Got that tied in. Now, one more thing. I got some of this black flash here. Some black. I'm gonna grab me about three strands. And I'm gonna feed this into the top. Just a little bit longer than the tail we got. Tie that in and lock it back on itself. Now, I'm trying to make this head look pretty really makes the fly. And you know, as soon as uh, you whip finish this. I'm not going to show you on this video, but we are going to, I am going to epoxy this. Uh, you know, on these tail races, you got all those rocks and everything. You can't get away of not doing it. Pretty much have to do it. Whip finish. And there, my friends. Jiggy fly tied for Tennessee tail races for stripers and hybrids. Hope it works out for you. And uh, send me an email, send me some pictures, let me know how it works out. Tight fly lines. Good luck.